right. Well, I'm probably going to lose some subscribers with this one. everyone silver joker here okay so i know it's been a while since i posted a video but we're gonna get right into this i'm gonna give you guys a progress report on my goals uh, for this year and if you recall it was 250 ounces of three nines fine silver either your bars or your rounds and also 200 dollars face value in constitutional silver All right so i'm going to show you guys the progress that i've made thus far for january anyway and uh, we're going to also talk about this idea of $1,000 ounce silver. Now, me and Silver5150 just made a podcast where we talk about our both ideas about the velocity of silver, where it's headed, where we think it's headed. And, headed. and we have totally different ideas about that. And I think you guys will enjoy the, the debate we had there. It was a little heated at times, <laughs> but, uh, you know, we're still friends. But it shows our, our differing views on you know, where we think silver's headed. I'm more conservative. I believe silver is not going to these high valuations anytime soon. I would be surprised if silver got above $27 this year. Very surprised. I don't think that's going to happen. And I think a thousand dollar an ounce silver is a ridiculous amount, is a ridiculous value for silver. Now, to me, the value of silver is what we place on it, not what the market says it is. And I've made that clear in a lot of videos and the people that I've talked through over the years. That to me, spot price is not the actual value of your silver. It's the price of your silver, but it's not the value of your silver. The value comes from you, what you believe silver can do for you. And to this idea of a $1,000 an ounce silver, $100 an ounce silver, even $50 an ounce silver, I think is a fantastical notion. And I think to perpetuate that in our community it is kind of a disservice. You know, I'm not knocking the channels that do that. They're going to do whatever they think they have to do for their channels. You know, my channel, I created this channel to give you realistic information about how to stack physical bullion, because I think it's important to have in your stack. I think it's an important thing to have to protect your hard earned wealth. And that's it. You know, if it goes to these high valuations, great, but do not let that be the motivation for you getting into stacking silver. Now I'm going to tell you why that is. There's this whole controversy around Bitcoin. And I believe Bitcoin is one of those things that can really set you up for a negative outcome. And what do I mean by that? Well, there's a lot of people who didn't do the research. They didn't, they didn't really know what they was getting into. They heard that Bitcoin was this beautiful thing that they could get into and it's going to make them money overnight. And it did. It made a lot of money, but people lost a lot of money. And the people that lost the most with Bitcoin was the people who knew the least about it, the knew the least about investing. And that's kind of the similar thing here with silver. Stacking physical silver is not for everyone. And if you're stacking silver because you think silver is going to make you rich or you think you're going to need it because doomsday is right around the corner, then you're stacking physical silver for the wrong reasons. And it could lead you to believe that silver is a negative for you. Having physical silver is never going to be negative, but your thoughts and ideas and motivations behind stacking it definitely could be. If you think silver is going to be $1,000 an ounce by the end of this year or the end of next year, I believe you're going to be very disappointed. If you believe silver is going to be $50 an ounce by the end of this year, I also believe you may be disappointed. But if you're buying silver for security, for a safe place to put your hard-earned wealth, I think you're going to be very satisfied with the amount of silver that you stack because it's always going to have value. You own it. In other words, you don't have to wait for somebody to give you access to it. You don't have to worry about somebody hacking into your account and stealing the wealth that you've put away, it's yours. It's in your possession and it is universal. For a new stacker who comes to the silver stack community looking for motivation, inspiration, and information about stacking silver, they're on the fence. They're not sure if they want to do that or not. 
and they fall into that trap of thinking that silver is going to make them rich or that they are running out of time because doomsday is right around the corner. I think that does this entire community a disservice. Now I make my videos for information. You know, I like getting the views. I like getting the subscribers. You know, I lose a lot of subscribers. <laughs> I don't get as many views as some of the other channels out there and I'm okay with that, but I'm going to keep it real. I am definitely going to keep it real and keeping it real means doing what's right regardless of views and subscribers. And so I've made that a point of my channel and I'm going to stick to that. I'm not going to give you some unrealistic idea about silver. I'm not going to get into the, you know, the politics and how that's going to affect the movement of silver and what you should be thinking about when you're buying silver. If you come to my channel, you're going to get exactly what you're getting today. A realistic idea. My own opinion. Now keep that in mind. This is my own personal opinion. I'm not saying they're wrong and I'm right. That is absolutely not what I'm saying because wherever silver goes and whoever's telling you what silver is going to do, it's all based on their own personal opinion. I like to base mine in reality <laughs> and not this idea that the stock market is going to crash tomorrow and, and silver is going to be a thousand dollars an ounce, which all this could be, but is it probable? I've been stacking silver for a long time and silver has had that slow and steady growth as we move forward. That's how silver works. That's how I've seen it work since I've been stacking in the history that I've researched about silver. That's how it seems like it's happened. There's been a few anomalies in silver and silver price, but they have been anomalies and it's always settled back. And so that's where I stand on that. So I would just say, if you're listening to me talk, if you are a subscriber to my channel, or if you are just visiting for the first time, this is the ideas behind what I present to you on my channel. You know, silver could reach these high valuations, but don't let that motivate you to stack silver. Stacking silver is a safe thing to do when it comes to putting your money someplace that's going to be out of the reach of all this outside influence. You have it. It's in your possession and it's always going to have value. Those are the reasons for me to stack silver. And that's what I would uh, tell you. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm only going by my experiences stacking silver over the years that I've been stacking. And so that's what's been real for me. That's kind of what's helped me to stack as much silver as I've stacked. So I'm sharing that with you. And that's really the reason for my channel. You know, I don't, you know, I don't have the, the, the sponsors that a lot of these other channels have, or they come, they leave me messages all the time <laughs> wanting me to, you know, kind of promote their mining stocks or whatever, but I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that because if I don't do it, if I don't use that product, if I don't, if I'm not engaged in that service, then I'm definitely not going to uh, try to promote that to you. That's just not the way I operate. So anyway, this is what I picked up so far for the year. 21 ounces of three nines fine silver is what I think I can do monthly to reach my goals. And if I buy $8.50 twice a month, I think I'll be able to reach my goals when it comes to 200 face value in constitutional silver. So I'm thinking right around $17.00 face value a month will give me what I need to reach my goals at the end of the year comfortably. And so I'm going to keep you guys posted on that, show you guys what I pick up, take you with me when I go down to pick my uh, silver up. But anyway, like I said, this, this starting to go <laughs> a little longer than I wanted to, but anyway, this is what I picked up. I'm going to continue to share this with you guys and I'm going to continue to keep it real. I'm going to continue to keep the information I give you real. You know, what you can go and research for yourself and come up with your own conclusions. Don't take my word for it. Do your research. And, you know, let's just keep this silver train rolling. That's what we're doing. We're buying silver to protect our financial health going forward. If we get rich in the process, hooray. <laughs> but we're all going to get what we need from physical silver if we stack it for the right reasons. Anyway, appreciate you guys stopping by. Don't forget to go check out that podcast of me and Silver 5150 done. There'll be a link in the description. There'll be a card at the end of this video. I think you'll enjoy the debate. Anyway, keep stacking. Peace.